hey guys welcome to today's video so I know it's a little bit weird for me to be posting on a Friday I have been posting on a Wednesday ever since I've started this channel and I do think that's going to be the main kind of day that I post on on the Wednesday but every now and then I might just do a cheeky little post on a Friday as well and so today is going to be that cheeky little post so I have been shopping at Primark so I've got a little bit of a haul that I'd like to do and a little bit of a try on and all of all the different things that I've brought. I know some of the intros to my videos can be a little bit long so I'm not going to waffle on too much for this one, I'm just going to hop straight into the video. I do have my receipts here as well so I can tell you all of the different prices as we're going along which I know with my last Primark makeup video I had to put in the descriptions because I totally forgot so I've actually got it today. Okay so the first item that I picked up was this see-through little over the shoulder bag um, it looks a little bit clout I think there's a wrapping in there actually yeah so there we go so that's it without the wrapper just fully see-through with a nice hollow edging um, around the sides and a hollow strap as well so this strap was really really long I tried it on in the shop to make sure it was long enough for my tall body um, and it is adjustable so I could still wear it on my hip um, this was £6 I think it's super cute the main reason that I brought this actually was for the Ariana Grande concert that I'm going to um, it's a rule that you have to have clear bags there um, so that everyone can see in security checks can be made easier and more thorough which I'm fully supporting with um, obviously with everything that happened I completely understand and I think anyone who turns up after everyone receiving so many emails without a clear bag I think it's just out of order so if you're going or if you're not going just get this bag I think it's really really cute anyway as well as the rules for the concert so next I got these silicon little pasties pasties these are called petals so we'll just call them silicon petals um, obviously to go over your nipples if you don't fancy wearing a bra but still want a little bit of coverage so that everything's not poking out through your t-shirt second item and I'm already forgetting to say the price this was two pounds okay so now on to the actual clothes so Ariana Grande related again I picked up this God is a woman top um, obviously big song for her um, so quite an iconic line um, I got this in a large because I wanted it oversized might took it into high-waisted jeans um, but I'm just a sucker for an oversized t-shirt so I buy things a little bit big for me almost all the time so this one was eight pounds okay so just before we talk about the top I do want to address the fact that I'm wearing my pajama shorts they are llamas they are bright blue I'm comfortable so apart from trying on my bottom half clothing these are staying on <laughs> right now on to the t-shirt so this is the God is a woman top obviously it is quite baggy at the sides my waist is only here but it comes out to here um, I like that though I don't really like things being super super tight to me at least not all the time anyway I do have some t-shirts which are like that but I feel a lot more comfortable in ones with this sort of style I think it'd be nice that I can uh, kind of puff it and tuck it in to some high-waisted jeans like that so overall I think this is really cute and it's definitely something that I would wear again with concert t-shirts or t-shirts which are about a certain artist or something like that I don't always fancy wearing a t-shirt with their face slapped over it so this is just a nice understated way but for me to kind of be like woo I like it a lot I think it's really cute um, black and white is like my go-to colors um, black white and grey I am in like 90% of the time although my wardrobe is getting a bit more colorful but 
black is still the one obviously for eight pounds from Primark it is kind of one of the more expensive t-shirts there but I think it's worth it so thumbs up on that one so next I picked up this um, checkered cropped jumper um, I thought it looked really cute I love cropped jumpers for kind of like um, those times where it's too warm to put on a full jumper or have all of your skin covered um, but then it also it's a bit chilly it's a bit breezy so you might want your arms covered up so I think this is just a really good middle ground and um, I have quite a lot of tops well jumpers in this style so I know that I like this a lot and I just thought the pattern was simple but cute so I'm thinking this would look nice with black jeans and this one I picked up in a medium and it was five pounds right so this is that crop jumper on um, it is fleecy inside so like in winter or in autumn it'll be really good to keep you warm right now I am absolutely sweltering because it's really hot so I'm probably going to rush this one a little I think the pattern's really nice um, I like that the sleeves are elasticated cuffed at the end I don't know what it is about that but I just like it I do like that the sleeves are a little too long for me as well I have a bad habit of just kind of wearing them towards the end of my hand like this and pulling them down so it is good that it can do that or else I'll just be tugging at it all day I also like the um, I don't even know what to call this but like the armpits kind of start over here rather than where my armpit actually is um, I don't know but just that kind of baggy effect I really like um, so yeah again big thumbs up for this one okay so next I picked up these black trousers these were actually on sale so they were originally £13 and I got them for £5 I thought that was an absolute steal obviously I don't want to be spending too much on work clothes but obviously I still need to look nice and presentable for in the office so I thought this would work really well it's belted as well so I think that that would really cinch you in and still make you feel attractive while at the workplace even though obviously that's not the intention of your work clothes but you want to feel good in yourself so I think that will look really nice they're kind of flared as well so flared trousers just all the way down and yeah so I got those in a size 14 okay so here are those five pound trousers for work I think they're really cute with the pleats and obviously the belt I might have to put a pin in the belt to keep it where it is because it's quite flimsy so if I move about too much it does start coming undone but I think it's really cute it's a nice long length as well for my let's say 5 foot 10 I don't really measure myself because I don't like thinking that I'm like so tall um, but I think I'm about 5 foot 10 so it's a really nice length it's just kind of skimming the tops of my feet but yeah I think the belt's really nice, it cinches me in and kind of gives a tiny little bit of that paper bag effect. Um, actual pockets on the both sides though. And then, oh I don't know how I'm going to do this. There you can see the ends, so they are just kind of a bit baggy. Yeah, I'd, I'd call them flares, they do flare out a little but they are just kind of like mostly straight down and like I say they were on sale for £5 so not breaking the bank either and I'm just really happy with them so yeah. I then got the exact same pair of trousers in red, again these were also on sale from £13 down to 5 so I could not complain yet again. I got the black ones in a size 14 and then these ones in a size 16. Um, I'm not sure if it was just that one item of the red size 14 that was just a bit off, maybe it was cut a bit wrong. But either way that was really tight on me so I thought it was really strange that I can buy one in one size and one in the next size up. But either way uh, these are in a size 16 so if you're looking to get these if they're on sale near you then make sure to just go into the changing rooms and try them on. I haven't actually tried the 16s on so I'm hoping that they fit me. I just know that the 14s were a little bit snug so... 
I'll have to see a little bit later on if these do fit me, but they should do. So here are the same trousers but in red. Um, like I say, I did get these in the size 16 because the exact same size as the black ones were just really... They just didn't match. One of them was fine, the other one I was like the red ones, I was walking around like <gasps> Do you like these? Like barely able to talk, having to suck everything in. Like I, would, I probably wouldn't have even been able to sit down in them, do you know what I mean? So these are the size 16. They are definitely bigger than the 14s. 14s were slightly tighter on my thighs. So I guess if there's any days which I just want a little bit more comfort, then I will probably go for these ones. I doubt I'll pair them with a little polo top like this. I'd probably want to put something a bit nicer on. Again, you've got the nice pleats in the front, the belt detail, which again with the red will still need like a pin put in it or something because it just wants to keep coming undone. Again, you've got that little um, pocket detail, um, but like I say, it is just a fake pocket. And then because I did have to get the size up in these, the flare is a little bit bigger. They're a little bit longer as well, which doesn't really make that much sense. But when I've put shoes on, they'll be fine. Like the, the front's okay. The back is literally just touching the floor. And like I say, I'm not a short person. So if you're shorter than me, I'm not sure that these trousers will work for you. But yeah, they're just really nice and when I do put shoes on, it will sort out that little problem for me as well. And then last of all, I got some pyjamas. Can you ever really go to Primark without buying some pyjamas? For me, it's definitely no, I cannot. I have no self-control. So I got this little crop top. It's of Marie um, and it says high maintenance in the bottom. I'm doing it again, forgetting the prices. This one was four pounds. And then to go with that pyjama top, I just got some basic grey joggers. These were £4 and I picked them up in the size medium. Again, just a thin cotton material. So these, again, should keep me really cool during this heat. So this is the cute little pyjama set that I got. I like sleeping in shorts rather than long leg trousers, so this works really well for me. The cotton on both materials is super soft. What I didn't realise that was that the shorts are very slightly, what's the word, fleeced on the inside. So they might be a little bit warmer, but I mean, it's so hot today and with these on right now, I am so cool. Like, I don't feel hot, I don't feel like there's anything sweaty down there, if you know what I mean. So... I'm not too worried about that, um, but just something to keep in mind if you plan on getting them yourselves. And then this top I just think is really cute. My cute Disney pyjamas on, you know, so I have got my bra on underneath this so it would be a slight little bit less tight around this area, but I don't really fancy going on YouTube without my bra on, so I'll just show you guys the back as well and then the shorts there as well so yeah those are really cute and I mean a set for eight pounds in total you can't really complain about that but yeah oh there's another one. Oh, I don't know what's gone on there might have to trim that little bit of stitching but I mean it's Primark it's four pounds it happens we're not going to complain about a little bit of loose stitching. I can sort that out with a pair of scissors. So yeah, I just think that these are super cute. So that is everything from me today, guys. Make sure to comment down below which pieces you liked. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. All that good kind of stuff so that you can be notified when my next video is. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.